Salutations, whiskey fiends, whiskey lung here. It's been a minute, but I'm back to give you the low down, greasy, grubby dirt on Lawbreakers and whether or not you should be interested in playing it. All this on Whiskey Lung Reviews, Lawbreakers Beta. So, Lawbreakers is a team based, objective, first person shooter. And uh, I was able to recently play the open beta and was initially involved in the alpha test, although I'm embarrassed to say uh, that I did not get to log in to play the alpha test when it was doing its rounds. But if you're a fan of my channel, you'll know that I haven't really had a chance to do fucking anything lately. I don't think I've uploaded a video since December. Every time I see promos for this game or a fellow YouTuber giving their two cents about the game, I'm always left a little bit confused. This game was published by Nexon, who have their fingers in a lot of pies right now, and personally I felt like the other pies that they have their fingers in look a lot more appetizing than Lawbreakers. So why is this game seemingly getting more dollars to promote the game? I, I feel like they've, they've gotten a big budget for pro uh, promotion for this particular game. Well, with the climate being so right right now for hero-based FPS, I think that Nexon told the developers, uh, Boss Key Productions, to just, you know, make love to this game. Have sexual intercourse of the dirtiest, uh, dirtiest type, uh, like you're some sort of a 15-year-old hopped up on MDMA. Did they pull it off, though? Do you think that, you know, Whiskey, do you think they, they pulled it off to the effect that this is, you know, a game that's worth your time? I think that in a lot of respects they made this game, you know, worth worth it for some people to call their main game, you know, like a game that they spend a lot of time on. Um, but right now we're not spoiled for choices. Uh, the free-to-play business model is extremely competitive and where they make their money in free-to-play games is often a point of aggravation for the player-based community. You have to make the model fair. Um, and most games right now in the realm of free-to-play stick very closely to avoiding to uh, the whole pay-to-win mechanic. I'm happy to say that Lawbreakers is not guilty of those mechanics. and They don't do any pay-to-win. Uh, you know, what, what you're able to buy is mostly visual shit, and I don't give a fuck about that anyway in pretty much every game. Uh, you can, however, I think buy boosts, I'm pretty sure. Um, I don't know. This is just the beta, so things are subject to change. That's not a big deal. If this game wasn't a free-to-play game, uh, it would fall flat on its face without a fucking doubt. A very... It, the, the foundation of this game is very based on that business model, and uh, the market right now um, you know, we're, for free-to-play games, uh, they promise, you know, consistent improvements, free maps, characters, uh, just a, a support. Holy fuck! Sorry, guys. Uh, wow. I had to not upload this initially because of what I just said, basically. Let's open the kimono here a little bit and unveil a shriveled penis of a game. Guess that the game is no longer free to play. It actually was announced a long fucking time ago that it wouldn't be, and uh, I don't know why I thought otherwise. Maybe because it really feels and looks like a free to play game, and with games like Dirty Bomb and Ghost in the Shell basically being just as good or better than Lawbreakers, I'm now even more confused as why the, the game is getting so much advertising and so much, uh, su such a big budget to promote the game. Uh, of course, those games are from Nexon as well, so I don't, I don't get it. I really, really fucking don't get it. I was going to talk about how the game uh, isn't for me because of the futuristic weapons and guns and arcadey style and the aesthetics, and uh, that the game is actually really fun. People that like the look of the game and the feel of the game uh, could possibly make this their main game, grind out that shitty free to play uh, aspect where you know you, you get all your custom uh, character portrait garbage and taunts and shit like that that doesn't interest me at all but now unless they remove the loot crate garbage and all that shit all the free to play aspects from the game uh, which I think are it's just a contrivance uh, from free to play games it will for first person shooters uh, right now really because Battlefield and Call of Duty do it as well and they're full price games just 
so stupid. Take the battle packs and all the loot crates and all that shit out of your game. It's not fun for me. It's not a fun play loop. It's not a fun progression system. It's a contrivance. It doesn't add fun to the game. Uh, anyway, I, I digress. So, what could they make this game appealing? How could they make Lawbreakers appealing again to the audience uh, now that it's uh, not going to be a free-to-play game uh, from what I've experienced from playing the beta? Uh, well, maybe add about 12,000 man hours to adding content, weapons packs, different game modes, a single player. Honestly, I don't really know how they'd appeal to a market of gamers with this game at the moment. Let me say this. Here's a tip to you guys if you're listening. If you're if you're listening out there, boss key, um, please don't charge more than $14.99 for this game. Don't you fucking dare. As long as you remain under $20 USD, you might have a chance in hell to appealing to some demographic of gamers out there, but as it stands in a time where the market is so fucking competitive and most players have a main game, you know, a game where they, they crank out anywhere from uh, 10 to 20 to 40 to 50 hours a week, uh, spend most of their time with that game. This Lawbreakers, it just doesn't fucking stand a chance in hell. It doesn't. Back to old form whiskey. Uh, I guess that's how I'm going to end the video. Because I could go on, I could say, you know, I could talk about the characters and the classes and shit like that, but I, I can't muster up the cynicism to do it anymore. When I found out that this game is no longer free to play, which I really should have done my homework on initially, uh, it's, it fucking, it blew my mind. Uh, that's gonna do it for me, Whiskey Fiends. Sorry about the shorter video, but I, I didn't realize, of course, the lot of, uh, the developers of Lawbreaker started to believe in their own hype and they fucked up their own game. If you do want to do me a service, if you do do, please like the video. It helps me with visibility. Subscribe if you're not already a Whiskey Fiend, and I'll see you down below in those comments.